So Jesus is working today to take the world from where it was. From a world of death and corruption and greed and every kind of evil. To this new world under the rule of his love and his life-giving. His life-giving love. And there's this misconception that the world won't be right again until he returns. And all that we can do is endure it and wait for him to come and fix everything. That's one of the things I was taught growing up. Is that we are to separate ourselves from the heathens. And we are to just endure and wait for him to come back and fix everything. And go postal on everyone and destroy everyone so that we can finally have our peaceful life. That's what I was taught growing up. That's not correct. Many in the world have been burned by that. <laughs> I've burned people in the past. And I'm very sorry to anyone I have burned. Many in the world have been burned by humans that are claiming to be his agents. We've made many enemies. We've hurt many people. We've made many mistakes. And this makes us think that nothing's going to change until he returns. But Jesus and Paul and John and Luke, oh, they all have a different vision of this, all of them. We who follow him are given responsibility and authority to be a part of the answer to when we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, which was another part of the Sermon on the Mount. When we pray those things, we are to be a part of the answer to those things. And today it can only go so far as we are willing to take it. We are human. We don't have his power. That he's, he's, his, he grants us what we're willing to do. Until he finally comes and brings true shalom, this is our mission and this is our invitation. If we choose to accept it, is to work towards future shalom today. What can we do with what we have while we wait? This is the difference between just hearing and doing.